What's up? Hello, bonjour, my dear Alleyholics. I've received a whole ton of different Aliexpress products, which I'm going to unbox for you today. The first product on today's roster is this funky credit card skin. The first step to applying it is cleaning the card thoroughly with isopropyl alcohol. Using your old mask is optional. Unfortunately, I suffer from hands out of your posterior syndrome, so I had to reapply the skin, which is visible if you hold the card really close to your eyes. But I'm still happy with how it came out, and it looks decent otherwise. The second product today is the squirrel hook. No, this isn't a hook to catch squirrels, which could be deciphered from its semi-clever name, but a hook hanger for keys and whatnot that a little plastic squirrel comes out of when it's activated. Kind of like a whack-a-mole, but you should probably be whacking something else instead. It's been lonely for some people. The hook comes with a sticky pad and screw holes. I opted for using a sticky pad to mount it to the wall. So far the hook has stayed attached to the wall two months later, and we use it for hanging the dog leash. I really don't have a good explanation as to why I decided to order the fourth item today, other than the fact that I felt like it. And at times at these I cherish the fact that I am a consenting adult and I don't have to explain myself to anyone. Vancouver real estate is very expensive and I do not own a house and I don't have a backyard, so I have opted for indoor version of garden gnomes, admittedly with a special spin on them. The set consists of three gnomes that are having a jolly good time, and it also had an option for a campfire, which I decided to opt out of. The next thing is something that I bought last summer and I got a chance to test it out a few times for car camping. These are window nets that have been used for both front and rear windows on my Jeep that I also bought last summer. When you sleep in the car with the windows rolled up, it gets humid, but if you leave the windows open, bugs fly into the car, which these window nets are used to prevent. Imagine you are a pesky mosquito and you are trying to get that delicious human nectar. It tempts you, lures you inside, but there is this net that separates you from your tasty meal. Isn't that a shame? I know that fish tanks aren't everyone's thing, but it is mine, so I will go over this product quickly. This is a canister filter intake with a surface skimmer. Many aquariums rely on external forms of filtration, and until recently so did my 55 gallon, but the surface was getting protein film, which reduced the oxygen exchange. The idea is that the water that goes inside the filter comes from two sides, thus removing the film as the water goes in. But the water line changes with evaporation, so the skimmer needs to float. Unfortunately for me, the top piece moved too much and it was going underwater too often, so I got rid of it and eventually replaced the canister one with the sponge filter altogether. The next item is what I like to call an industrial-sized humidifier. I mean, really, when was the last time you saw a 3-liter container on a humidifier? Well, today is that day. I've had a small humidifier on my desk and I had to replace the water once every 3 days, which got tedious pretty fast. So I opted for a larger one from Xiaomi's Mi Jia. It has 3 running modes, both nozzles at the same time, one nozzle at a time, and two nozzles but intermittently. The light can be turned off if you hold the power button for a few seconds. We did a lot of car camping this summer and took Anna's tablet with us so we can watch movies before bed, and I decided to get a case so that we don't scratch the display or otherwise damage it. Well, I'm happy to report that the case did its job and it works fine. The back cover folds into a stand, but that's nothing unusual. I paid $5 for it, including the shipping, and I'm quite happy with it. I'd hate to get it as a gift for Christmas because of how underwhelming it is, but this is a crystal deodorant. I've been using this kind of deodorant since I've got them first in 2015, and I've been quite satisfied with the result so far. You fill the bottle with water, the minerals inside slowly mix with water, and you use it as a spray and refill if the minerals still remain. In my experience, it takes about 4 fills for it to end. This is a freshly filled bottle, and this is the fill number 4. As you can see, there are no crystals left, so that will be the last of it. Product number 9. Anna bought a new Galaxy which doesn't come with an AUX port, so we got a USB-C to an AUX adapter for the car. Nothing much that needs to be said about the set adapter other than the fact that it works. The metallic material seems solid enough, and the cable is braided for the longevity of the use. The product number 10 was bought by Anna, who is an environmental steward for our household. We recycle the vast majority of the soft plastic bags that we get from stores and from online shopping, but to reduce the amount of plastic used altogether, we got these reusable mesh produce bags for grocery shopping. The next item was less than $2, which is a reasonable price for what it's worth, and I find it pretty useful. This is a plastic towel rack for the kitchen. The doors are misaligned, and it only fits well on the left one. The right one sits a little higher and the rack chafes against the top. 
I could readjust the position of the door, but that would put the cabinet handles out of alignment, so moving the rack to another door seemed like the easier solution. The last item is something that I've been thinking about getting for a while, and finally decided to pull a plug on it during the most recent 11.11 sale. This is an off-brand handheld massager. In the box we have a case with a carrying handle, the main piece, which came charged enough for a quick test to make sure that it's working right out of the box. It has 30 adjustable speed modes, one slightly stronger than the previous one, a manual, and six different attachments for different pressure points. One of the creative names that really stood out to me was the Golden Finger. But the one that we've been using the most is this big round one, which despite how it looks is actually pretty hard. We also have four replacement rubber things and a charger with a wall plug. I've had the real branded one used on me at my chiropractor, which is priced at about $500, and it is much stronger than the $50 one, but I wouldn't say that it's 10 times better despite the pricing, so I wasn't disappointed with it. I use it to reduce muscle tension after climbing, and I gotta say, it works pretty well. 